Let's take you live now. This is the security guard that was injured in that Bondi attack. They're at the funeral of the guard that was killed. Yeah, it's. Uh, 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 I'm grateful, like that, God saved my life. But uh, at the same time, I'm very, like, uh, uh, unhappy for my colleague. Um, he will be uh, missed. Uh, we will remember him. Like, uh. can you talk us through the process inside? Did you did you say anything to him for us who um, aren't familiar with you know the process? What what have you just done inside? Uh, at that time, uh, when we were like uh, there before the incident happened, um, we were like uh, standing side by side and. When uh, all of a sudden we heard people shouting and screaming, um, we rushed towards that area and people were pointing that someone is there. And we could, uh, we were not aware that uh, if there are single one or multiple people, um, we were trying to save people, evacuating them and um, telling them uh, to go to the safe place. And the same time we rushed towards that area, uh, on in the, that mall and um, he was like uh, two three steps away from me at that moment uh, and from the crowd uh, that that the attacker just jumped uh, towards him and he uh, suddenly st stabbed him and when he turned uh, on my side I was right behind him and I saw him bleeding out so and all of a sudden he jumped towards me i tried to stop him confronting him at the same time but somehow he tried to ma manage to stab me as well at first i didn't knew that uh, i was stabbed because uh, i was looking after uh, my colleague and he just fell down i tried to like uh, i uh, grab him and i push him towards the uh, uh, chairs and sofas uh, in the cafe and i uh, uh, managed to lie him down and same time I was like uh, I called the radio and that what happened we both are stabbed and uh, and uh, same time I uh, managed to like inform my friends uh, that was Fahad uh, and Fahad and uh, the other was Osman so I uh, informed him about that uh, incident and they rushed towards me and uh, Fahad tried to help me uh, and Faraz as well. Uh, he tried to save us. Uh, before that, I was like trying to help Faraz, but after that, Fahad did well and uh, he tried to save both of us. But uh, I didn't knew that first, but then paramedics came a bit late and then um, I was shifted to a different hospital. I didn't knew that he was, uh, he was no more. But after like four days, um, um, they told me that uh, he's dead. So. Uh, Did you say anything to him while you're inside just now, or, or talk us through what, what you've just done just now today? Uh, I just talked to his family about uh, about what he was doing with me, and what was his last words, and what he was like. Uh, um, sharing his experience and his job because it was his first day so he was like more talking about like uh, all the stuff about the mall and the job because I was working here uh, for past few months but it was his first day he was not aware so uh, uh, that's that's the main thing that uh, that family was uh, they were keen to know what was his last words because uh, he was with me so they were more like uh, uh, willing to know that he, what was he doing what was his words so it was like it's a hard time for family uh, I can understand that and uh, even he was with me for like a short period of time but uh, uh, what happened there I can't forget that uh, uh, it is unimaginable and still, uh, if I think about it, uh, it's like very painful. And that was. Have nightmares? How's it for you? 
Yeah. Um, like it's been like two weeks and um, I can't even uh, sleep uh, properly. Uh, lots of nightmares. The trauma is hor horrific. Yeah. Um, even when I try to sleep, I, I have all the things in my mind going on and it's very painful. One, one, one last question, please. Yeah. Physically, the moment you heard of the news of his passing, how did you feel? What was your first reaction? I was in shock uh, and uh, uh, I was like literally like stunned and I was uh, unable to say anything at that moment because uh, the, nothing was coming out of my mouth, uh, no words at all. It was like unexplainable uh, at that moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.